Let's look at this example. We want to create an interactive table that can be used to convert temperature unit between any two units out of these four. So degree Celsius, degree Fahrenheit, Kelvin, and degree ranking. And the relations of unit conversion are given here. So I have done some preliminary formatting. This is what I want this table to look like. It's actually very simple. This orange space, again, is where I'm going to uh, input my original temperature. However, I don't want this to be a fixed cell with fixed degree Fahrenheit in this case. I want this to be a drop down menu and I can change the unit here. And as a result, the unit is automatically converted to degree Celsius, Fahrenheit, Kelvin and ranking accordingly. So how do we do that? Once again, I want this to be a drop down menu. I want this to be essentially a list. So I'm going to go to data and then I'm going to do data validation. So what is allowed to be in this cell? Currently, it allows any value. So you can see that you can change that into some other, there are other options as well, but in our case, we want to change that to a list. And it is only allowed to be a value given by this list right here. So here you put your source, okay? For me, it's this, uh, these four cells. So only values given in these four cells is allowed to show up here. And that's it. Now we have created a, a very simple drop down menu. So I can change that to degree C, change that to Kelvin, change that to Rankin. So our drop down menu is done. Now let's work on the following calculation, the formulation. Obviously, again, this is not going to be straightforward because depending on what is the original uh, unit, the calculation will be different. So we have to do logical testing uh, again, and we have to use if function as well. Let's give it some initial value. My approach is I'm going to calculate this cell right here accordingly. And then all the other cells are going to reference this cell. You will see what I mean in a little bit. You can try other methods as well, but I think this is probably the most organized way, most effective way to do it. So if this equals to, I cannot insert symbol here, so let me just put C here, even though I know that's not gonna work. Let me just test this out. Right now it's false because this cell does not equal to simply a C. I need this little symbol. You can insert symbol by insert symbol right here. And then in this case, this is a temperature symbol. And then I can copy this or cut this over here. And now the answer is yes. So, which means that this cell does display a symbol, temperature symbol C, degree C. Okay, so that works out. Let me change this. If this does display degree C, then the answer is simply this cell right here, which means that 100 degree C equals to 100 degree, degree C. But if that's not the case, we need to start build our nested if argument. So if that's not the case, we're going to test to see if this equals to degree F. If that's true, then the output equals to degree F minus 32 divided by 1.8. Write on the scratch paper if you want to work out the formula, if you are having a hard time working on the math in your head. So again, degree C equals to degree F right here, minus 32, put that in the parentheses, divided by 1.8. Let's see if it works. Close it. So if this, on the other hand, is degree F, then 100 degree F equals to 37.78 degree C. Moving on, if that's still not the case, 
Then I'm going to test to see if this right here equals to Kelvin. If that's true, degree C, how does degree C convert with, to Kelvin? That will be Kelvin minus 273.15. All right, let's see if it works. This is now Kelvin. Yes, it's 100 minus 273.15. That's negative 173.15 degree C. Lastly, if that's still not true, we're going to test to see. Well, actually, since this has only four options, therefore, if this is not degree C, this is not degree Fahrenheit, this is not Kelvin, there's only one possibility, which is ranking. So you really don't need another layer of if function. So directly here, we cannot convert directly from degree C to ranking but we can use Kelvin as a middleman, right? So converting between Kelvin and ranking is a little bit different than the previous ones. If you look at the equations for the previous ones, you have the temperature value equals to the temperature value multiplied by 1.8, etc., etc. However, here in this fourth equation, this is a direct conversion of the units. This is because Kelvin and ranking are both absolute temperature units versus Fahrenheit and degree Celsius are both relative temperature units. So in this case, to convert from ranking to Kelvin, this equals to 100 ranking divided by 1.8. So we have converted from ranking to Kelvin and then from Kelvin to degree C as minus another 273.15. Therefore, 100 ranking equals to negative 217.59 degrees Celsius. With that, the reason why I have done the degree Celsius first is because now I can reference this for my other calculation. Therefore, I'm going to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And that is this number right here, multiplied by 1.8 plus 32. And Kelvin converted from degree Celsius equals to this much right here plus 273.15. And lastly, ranking is also converted from degree Celsius. This equals to this right here converted to Kelvin first. Put that into parentheses. multiply by 1.8. So again, that's 100. So if you ask, how come you don't directly link this to this? The reason why I don't do that is because, as you can see, I only have logical testing in the first cell here for the Celsius. I don't need to do logical testing for the others if everything else is converted from degree Celsius. So in my opinion, that's an advantage. All right, therefore, let's see if it works out for the other cases. Change this to degree C. Change this to degree Fahrenheit. Change this to Kelvin. And lastly, ranking. It all works out.